Okay, so what you have to do, just go to effects here, effects, and here in the search bar, write fusion, and then here in effects, if you select effects, you should see fusion composition. You can also right click and add to favorites. That's what I like to do. And here I can find, I don't, uh, this will save some uh, steps. I can literally just click on fusion composition here and grab it and drag it onto the timeline. And now I can right click and select open in fusion page. Now we need background and we need text here, background here, text. Connect this node to this, and this will create automatically a merge. And this is also uh, the right, because we connected text to background, this automatically made or uh, created or added or the text as a back as a foreground. So, which means that the background will be over this background. This text will go over this background right because this color green means this is foreground which will go above our background yellow means background which will go beneath our text or you know below behind our text now connect this to hello 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 we have text here we have background here now just click on background here and change the color to your favorite color. Oh, choose green. Now click on text here and write your text. I'll write here how to browser. Sorry. Mm. Position this like this. And now, if I right-click literally where you can write text, if you right-click here, you have a bunch of settings, really awesome settings, like, wow, if you ask me. Now, if you click on character level styling here, character, character level styling, click on that, now we created a modifier. Now, if you select here, you go here and select, let's say how, if you go to shading, change color here you can add a totally different color and now if you select how or you know the color that you want to the word that you want to change the color to change the color and now we have a totally different color now if you go here same shading so yeah make sure you go to modifier not tools right not tools no modifiers yes and here Here you can change the color to something else. And now what I like to do, select text one, shift uh, plus space, select drop shadow right here, drop and drop shadow add. Now we have some drop shadow here. And that's it. I really hope this tutorial helped you. Make sure you subscribe for more. I really appreciate if you subscribe and like this video. And if you have any suggestions for the next tutorial, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.